Hi guys, it's Jenna. I'm sick. Again. Second time this month. Great, right? Multiple things are going on, actually. Things at work have been not so kind in my bipolar. Um, I really don't want to get into the details of it because there's some legal issues potentially going on that I don't want to talk about on here uh, without the okay to do so. Um, lest it not go in my favor. But, um, went to work today. I had to take a mental health day or two this week already. And I think the stress I've been under has just killed my immunity. So, the nurse took one look at me and said, you're not keeping antacids down to control your vomiting, and you're not keeping anti-diarrhea medicine down to help that, so she's considering me sick. She said, if you're still vomiting and contagious, I really don't want to see you here tomorrow, because guess what? It might be contagious. And several teachers have been out the last two weeks very sick. What I had earlier this month is still going around a little bit, but now this stomach thing is going around. It's like, you know, I haven't even gotten my flu shot yet, and I've already been t sick twice. Hopefully, once I get my flu shot, I'll be just fine. I mean, I get it for free through, through work. I might as well go ahead and get it anyway to try and ward off whatever might be lurking down the pike later on. Um, so, I will miss tomorrow's pep rally. Um, a new tradition that the new principal wants to try every year is to have a pep rally for every home game. Just half an hour at the end of every day that there's a home game for the varsity team. And I just hope that it is better planned for them than last time. The kids work hard. So honestly, every couple weeks, every two, three weeks, if they get half an hour of extra social time, so be it. My students work really hard in my classroom, and I think they deserve it. Their behaviors aren't always good, but I really do push my students, not too hard, but I give them the amount of challenge they need to keep active and busy and to do what they need to do. And the behavior comes around when the bad behavior comes around when they don't want to play along and do what they're supposed to do. I don't assign very much homework unless they're working on papers. Usually the long-term projects is where they get homework from me. I don't give a lot of nightly homework for my students, and especially since I don't have an honors class this year. So there's no reason for my kids not to work, work hard in class because what we cover is everything they need and I try to be the best teacher that I can despite my bipolar but it's really difficult some days and I don't take it from hour to hour I really take it from class period to class period and that's what it's been trying to survive these last two weeks just dealing with emotional downhill slide that I've taken and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been posting anything just because my depression took a landslide for the worst these last couple weeks. So I'm hoping to get out of this funk. It's part of bipolar. I'm going to go through stages of mania and then turn around and go through stages of depression. As long as I'm not rapid cycling back and forth between the two, like I was most of last school year, then I'll be fine. Um, but... I think because I have missed so many days from either being sick or dealing with my bipolar, I've lost a grip on some of the students' attention and I need to get it back. And one of the ways I plan to get it back, there's a t-shirt that I saw on Facebook that I really want. Then it says, this teacher has awesome students. And I do have some really awesome students. Some of them could improve and become better people, and I've told them several times this year, as a mass group, all my kids, 
there's a quote on my, I have this bulletin board that's just full of quotes and positivity and words and whatnot just to drive um, positivity, positivity in my classroom. And every administrator that has seen it, other teachers that have seen it, they say they love it. And one of the quotes on there says, the only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. And I've pointed that out to a couple of my kids that, you know, you're always going to have room in, for improvement, but some of you have a little bit more room in areas than others, and I don't know, maybe some of it's just personality conflict, but I actually had a student say today to a kid in class, you know, if you would just be polite and act like a decent human being, she'll be the same way to you. She won't yell at you for misbehaving. And I don't mind joking. I don't mind a little bit of chitter chatter. I don't I don't even mind a little bit of goof off behavior so long as it doesn't interrupt the flow of learning. And some of my best class have been classes have been some of the biggest jokester classes but what was great about those classes the kids still worked we didn't get behind I'm getting behind in some of my classes because just not necessarily for me not being there but just because the kids won't do the work and their grades are reflecting it and it's the middle of the first nine weeks and I have a bunch of kids who are not going to pass this semester if they don't pull up their bootstraps now and I'm going to have to have that conversation with them unfortunately you know I usually have this conversation around midterms or around finals never in the first marking period so I'm hoping to be able to keep my chin up hold my chin a little higher I'm going to take tomorrow there's some toxicity that's physical to my immunity and my body and I'm also really going to work hard on some meditation and get rid of some toxicity in my brain. Um, I do believe in karma in that you get what you give. So if I put more positivity out there, I should be all right. So, all right, that's enough for today, guys. Talk to you later. If you would like to see more videos from us, like, comment, and subscribe. Much love.